Music from outer space. Synth DIY. Hello, Ray Wilson here of Music from Outer Space. And today I would like to talk a little bit about how to make a synth DIY front panel for your module projects or for your sound effects box projects. And we're just going to make a, a small sample, but uh, this same method applies to larger panels and it's uh, quite easy to do. You don't need any special tools. <clears throat> you need a hacksaw to be able to cut the metal out uh, and you also need a drill in order to be able to drill the holes. Now the plate that I use is a 0.063 inch aluminum plate. It's a, a 60-61 T6 sheet and I get it from metal supermarkets. If you Google metal supermarkets you can find them and they have no minimum order and I've had good success with that company. When it comes to hole sizes I like to use a 5 16 hole for pots and also for banana jacks. I use a quarter inch hole for the mini toggle switches that I buy. And then I use three in, a 3 8 inch hole for the uh, 1 quarter inch jacks that I use uh, on my panels. Now, what I have is a program that allows me to draw the front panel uh, and it's uh, to actual size when this is printed and that's important. So in your drawing program, whichever one you decide to use, you need to be able to measure the distance between uh, the various components and legends and so forth that you put on your front panel accurately, as accurately as you can. Now um, you can make this any color you want because what we're going to do is print this out on paper and, uh, and then we're going to laminate it and uh, eventually after we have uh, taken one of these drawings, used it as a drill guide, uh, drilled our panel, we're then going to adhere that uh, laminated sheet onto the panel in the correct position and then cut the holes out uh, wherever we need to. So when you're doing this, uh, I also suggest that you make yourself a library of components that are actual size so that you can make sure the components are going to fit behind the panel properly uh, not be bumping into one another and so forth. You'd hate to go through the whole trouble of making a panel and then things don't fit on it. So make sure the components you're going to use are, are going to fit. Now one other thing uh, while you're at it I also then take the drawing, turn it around so that I'm facing the back of it and I make a wiring diagram that goes along with the module so that um, as I'm wiring it, it's pretty simple. Uh, you know, instead of having to figure it out, oh, what goes where, it's, it's very clear. You just make yourself this little wiring diagram as well. So we have our template. We're all also going to use this as our drill guide because you might be able to see there are little crosshairs in the middle of each of these uh, legends and that's where we're going to punch and drill our metal. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out a few copies of this and, uh, and then we're going to have a copy to use for our uh, hole guide as we punch the metal uh, and make some drill guide holes. And then we're also going to have a copy to be able to laminate which will eventually become the, the front panel template that we're going to actually adhere to the metal. So I'll, I'll be back when we're ready to laminate. All right, we've printed out a few copies of our artwork. And as I said, it prints to size. So it's really the size that I need it to be. Now, as you can see, the laminator is uh, ready to go. We're using a five mil uh, sleeve. So we set it to the appropriate temperature. And we're going to put it into this little carrier sleeve. It prevents it from damaging the uh, material. And we go ahead and feed it into the laminator. Okay, I'm going to make sure you pull it out of there so that the end doesn't continue to sit in the laminator and heat up. So we can turn that off. We're finished with that. And there we have it. So you can see in the beginning, this material is a little milky, but once you run it through the laminator, it's nice and clear. 
and uh, that's a real nice finish that'll be waterproof and it'll adhere to the front panel with some uh, contact cement all right well uh, that's that now we're going to cut it out I'll show you how you would do that how we do that all righty to cut the design out we just use this simple little uh, paper cutter this is a swing line brand there's a lot of different companies I believe exacto makes one of these and you want to line it up nice on your lines and then you just go right ahead and slice it at the other side and last but not least okay and there we have it that is going to be our little thing uh, our little front uh, template that we're going to adhere to our metal after we drill it now we're going to go out uh, use our other drawing as a drill guide uh, punch our holes and get ready to drill all right I didn't mention this before but we also want to cut out the one that we're going to use for the drill guide so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and lastly right. now we're gonna go out in the shop find ourselves a piece of metal and get it done well I'm out in the garage now and lo and behold looking through my junk pile I find the perfect piece of metal uh, for this as that uh, fits on there nicely we're going to cut this out so that it fits just right but uh, uh, that's exactly what we're going to do so I'll show you a little bit about cutting it out but I'm not going to bore you with uh, you know the time it takes to do that so I'll come back when I'm ready to cut when I'm making cuts that are long like this and this this metal is a little tough for shears so I go with a hacksaw I clamp it down really well close to the edge of the table so that it doesn't bend very much here and I can saw it uh, quite nicely so we have it clamped and we're going to go ahead and start cutting I always draw my lines so I can cut to the side of the line not right down through the middle of the line okay we're just about through this we're going to finish up the cut now we're going to move it so we can make the other cut all right we're set up for our other cut now we're going to head and start that all right we're just about done with this one there we go and we unclamp it and there's our piece now I'm going to just take and throw this on to the belt sander to just kind of clean up the edges. All right, we're done. We have our aluminum piece all ready to go. Now we're going to go on to uh, marking where our holes are going to go by using our cutout uh, piece that we have the uh, crosshairs on. All right, so what our next step was was to take that paper template that has our crosshairs and tape it directly to uh, the metal that's going to become your front panel and uh, do it as squarely as possible the more care you take in, in you know cutting out your metal cutting out your templates and so forth the more accurate uh, the whole project is going to be all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to take a center punch I've uh, sharpened this up a little bit just for this purpose and we're going to go ahead and we're going to punch our drill holes or our, our drill guide holes now Okay, and again, you want to try to get them as exactly on those uh, crosshairs as you can. Okay, because then the uh, template will line up with uh, the holes. Alrighty, almost done here. Okay, and then a thing to remember. Uh, I'm going to drill the mount holes for this a little later. All right, there we go. So now we've got our pilot holes for uh, drilling. And so our drill doesn't stray around when we're trying to go through here. And at this point, we can go ahead and remove the template. Just go ahead and take it off. Okay, and as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, you see the little pilot holes that we have that's where we're going to go ahead and drill now and all of these holes are 5 16 inch which is nice so I'm going to go ahead to the drill press now music from outer space synth DIY 